It's always been considered the majestic bluefin. You know, they're the strongest fish in the ocean. They're one of the most highly sought after game fish. Basically used balloons to float the line out and then we set the depth at, set the bait at different depths. Pretty much sit around and wait. <laughs> the rod's on the boat, so it's just a tug and war game. You gotta just, when the fish gives some, you gotta take, and then when he wants to go, you just gotta let him run. Quite a few years back, I can't remember what year it was, there wasn't any fish caught. Where, as you see this year, there's quite a few. Fish stocks, the way we see it on the water, the last five years especially, have been rebounding greatly. There's probably no fish that's ever been more politicized uh, for centuries or millennia than bluefin tuna. Scientists have been un unable to determine whether or not the Atlantic bluefin population has recovered. So any decrease in the population now is bad for fishermen in the long term. So increasing the quotas now is a little bit premature. 422 pounds. From, from an environmental point of view, it's always maybe let's take the most conservative approach. Let's, let's try to back off a little bit and, and make sure that we always have enough fish. And on the other side, you, you have individuals and organizations that they're making a living off of that fish. And so they want to try to get more of that quota if they can. And, and that's kind of where the assessment and management comes into play. It's kind of balancing all of those opinions and viewpoints.